every time I go someplace on vacation, I buy a deck of cards, and I take one of the cards out and I put them into this deck. Uh, this becomes a magic scrapbook, sort of like a photo album. This way I can look through all the cards and remember the places that I've been. For instance, this is a trip to visit my goddaughter in Colorado. Uh, this was from a friend's wedding in Texas. This one was Vegas. I don't talk about Vegas. Uh, and I have these two cards. These are from my most recent trips. Um, and they're mates, actually. It's, uh, this is the Ace of Hearts and the uh, Ace of Diamonds. They're both red, both aces. And 52 really different cards. I'm going to deal cards down on the table. Kate, whenever you'd like, could you just say stop? Stop. Right there? Yep. All right, I'm going to mark that with the Ace of Hearts. I'm going to deal more cards down. Uh, Justin, when you'd like, could you just do me a favor and say stop? Stop. Right there? Mm -hmm. We're going to mark that with the Ace of Diamonds. I'm going to take the cards above the ones that you guys stopped me on. Let's see what we have here. There's one. There's the other one. Now, wouldn't it be interesting if in a deck of 52 really, really different cards, you guys managed to stop me on the matching backs? Kind of neat. Wouldn't it be even cooler if you guys managed to stop me on the matching faces in the deck? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's an easy trick to figure out. It's just a deck of all aces. Well, you'd be right, but these are actually all the ace of spades, and you managed to pick the only red ones in the game.